What's up? It's your boy Jason, aka Maker Music, here in the lab again. Gonna work on another um, beat here. I had a little melody in my head uh, for the last few weeks and months, and um, I'm gonna hear it in the lab and see if I can um, if I can come up with something. Um, I sung the melody and recorded it myself, but I didn't like how it sounded, so I had my fiance sang it for me, and she recorded it on her phone. So I told her to record it and um, go ahead and send me the um, the actual video to my email. So anyway, that's what she did. And I'm going to see if I can pull it up real quick. And I'm actually going to play it and then see if I can type out the uh, BPM. Da da da, da da da, da da da, da 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 after that, I actually tapped out uh, 84, the BPM. So what I'm going to do now is, let's see if I can just, uh, we're going to tap in uh, 84. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in this recording here for a second. And Ableton you are able to um, drag in audio sample or video uh, mp3 mp4 into your um, arrangement so let's listen to this and see if I can get this timer right normally I try to get as close to the downbeat as I can so uh, just take a look at the screen and see what I'm doing let's uh, I'll return the metronome on so See how close we can get to this. I'm gonna actually look at this clip view here. Other sample and click on warp that I help uh, fix some of the timing. And uh, we're gonna take a listen to this. Da 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 but as you can see that time is a little off so what i'm gonna do is i'm basically gonna try to fix this timing here so i'm gonna look down here in the clip view what i see now is these uh markers here um the, the gray markers is actually the transients uh, ableton tries its best to find the important parts of uh the audio clip to where we can kind of edit them and try to fix the timing to match to uh, the BPM. If you double click on it like this, it'll convert it to uh, warp markers. With those warp markers, um, you're able to drag it to certain grid lines or measures on here um, to kind of fix the timing. So just take a look at the screen here. I'm gonna drag this first part of the clip to two right here. A warp marker here to start this section off. I'm gonna drag this to three. Drag this to four. And that might be all I need. I could drag this to five here. And let's see what the timing sounds like. Really, I like, I pretty much like that first part here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to cut at the beginning of this track. Cut here. Delete this part. I'm going to drag this to, all the way to the beginning to measure one. And let's play it again. Really, I'm just looking to make a four bar loop. So I'm going to move this loop bar here. And we'll see what it sounds like. Da, 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 da
You all, you can also do it uh, down here in the clip view. Like I can click on loop, get to the end of this bar here, and I can drag it all the way to end of four. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. And as you can see, I think I goofed up. Move this back. Five. Actually, okay. I think I know what I did. All right. Let's uh back here. It's a little bit uneven down here because really I need to be from two on this five. That's four bars here. When I initially started, it wasn't at the first minute. So I'm gonna go back up here. I want to cut here. Make this even. Delete that part. Okay. Uh, this is the only section I want right here. Up here is going to be from one uh, four bar, four bar loop. So let's see. Da, da, da. 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 That's all I want. So I'm going to duplicate. A four bar loop to eight bars and play it again. Da, da, da. 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 I got a nice uh, eight bar loop up here. For this audio track, let me see if I can crop this down here. It's kind of throwing me off. Okay, I cropped it. Now it's even from one all the way to four here, four measures. So I'm gonna keep this here. Now what I want to do is, okay, what else? What other instruments can I um, add to this? So normally I just go straight to the piano. So I'm gonna go back to my plugins. I'm gonna drag in contact. And uh, like I said um, before, I don't know. I don't know if I said it in the um, in the previous video. Contact kind of houses a whole lot of instruments. Um, you got your output. You got native instruments. You got all the uh, all these other instruments that you can add in contact. It's just a place where you can store all of this into. And let's see. I'm gonna go into. Um, let's just pick a piano sound. So, go to the giant. Any one of these presets, I mean, whatever feels good to you. And I still got this pedal sound that I really don't want to hear right now. Turn this pedal sound off. Okay. I'm going to listen to this melody up here. Make sure you name the instruments. All right, now I'm going to play it. Now I'm going to see what key this is in. Looks like C major. So I'm gonna see if I can come up with something here. That sounds. I'm gonna go with that. So I'm gonna hit record. Make sure it's armed out here. And we, we're gonna go from here. Okay. I didn't record. 
record over anything. That's piano sound here. We'll quantize it. One sixteen. And let's see what it does. C major. So, and this is what I normally do. Whatever comes to my head, what other instruments I'm thinking about adding, I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in there. It's just like putting ideas out there. So, we're going to add a drum rack. And what I want to do is add some drums in there. So, I'm going to go to kicks. Hold on a minute. So the kicks, we're gonna just grab one that feels good. Let's see. One there, and then I'm gonna add in a snare. All right, hold on a minute. Let's see, there it is. And then a snare like so. I'll we'll put in a um, kick in the snare. It's beating, let's see if we can come up with something. There we go. Something real simple. tell that was a little off but hey I can always fix it we're gonna take this MIDI note out of here I don't know what that is and I'm gonna quantize it 116 now let's play it Nice little uh, kick and snare. Another thing I like to do is just add a cymbal of some sort and a hi hat. So right now I'm going to let's see. I dragged in the 808 core kit from Ableton, and let's see if I can. something in there. I didn't like how that started, so let's try it again. time it was but hey I know how to fix it quantize and we're gonna replay it again hey. So I got a kit, I got a piano, got the melody up here, my fiance, I got I had an assemble. So hey, I'm gonna be creative. I'm gonna add some uh 
strings in there. I don't know how many strings I'm going to put in this thing. Um, I like strings. I like orchestral type sounds, so that's all I'm going to add in there. I said, I mean, it depends on the producer, the beat maker, whatever you want to call them. It depends on what feels good to you and what you want to add in there. Add your, um, add your style in there. So what I'm about to do. I'll go to Spitfire. I'm going to put a, a link in the description for this one. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, orchestra sounds. Um, let's see. See if it plays in the thing first. Base uh, notes. Let's try it. So I'm just gonna try that. I'm gonna roll with it. One of those notes, I don't know if I like. I was like, let's see. Let's try it. For now, play with this. Um, bass, strings, and it's horns. And what I want to do is, I want to add another set of strings. And again, if you don't like the way it sounds at the end of the day, you can leave it and come back to it. Trust me, a lot of my beats that uh, people bought from me, I started it off with just throwing ideas down. I didn't like it the first day, but I came back that second day with a vengeance. <laughs> so adding instruments to it and taking some instruments out and adding different things to it that I wanted to. You don't always get it on the first day. So we're going to go back to this instrument here. I'm going to select another instrument. Um, I want strings again from that same, same one from Spitfire. There's strings in there. I don't know if I want spiccato strings or Physicado strings or just, I don't know. Maybe I just want some long strings. Oh, it's too long. I could. Or I could just chop it up. Let's see. Let's try that.
So I'm just gonna try that. Quantize it. Want to add a little more volume into it? Let's see. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that and guess what? I might add another. Um instead of strings, I'm gonna add some more horns. I'm gonna leave it as horns. And we're just gonna add some else down. This is what I normally do. I throw everything on here. But if I'm thinking in my head, I'm just gonna throw it down. Yeah, unlimited possibilities. We'll make it a uh, a beat instrumental, whatever you want to call it. We have some more uh, elements in here. Let's see. All right. Now I'm gonna have horns like in the background. Let's try this. I'm not scared. <laughs> try it. quantize this I don't want it that loud so what I'm gonna do let's see let's duplicate this turn out a little bit Contact back in. I bought this new uh, lo fi instrument from uh, Native Instruments, so I kind of want to play with that. Let's see. So I get some keys in there. Uh, backstage. I don't know what this sounds like. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Diplet Church. See what that sound like. I kind of like that. I'm going to turn these horns off real quick. Let's put in keys and we'll, sound, we'll see what this sounds like. Turn the strings off too. So I'm going to go. Uh, 
Let's try it. that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna delete that go back into contact i'm gonna close that out that lo-fi sound not gonna work for what i'm thinking of so i do want some keys so let's go to let's see what do i have here uh vintage organ okay vintage keys Pick this one here, let's see. All right, we're gonna try that one. Face streams out. that beginning started so i'm gonna cut that out move this to the front quantize it let's duplicate it let's see what sounds like see if we can uh delete some of these effects out of here all i'm doing is just laying ideas down so go to arcade i want to add some other vocals in there and let's just go through one of these all right so i know the key is going to be c major <clears throat> And I'll put this in the description, uh, Output Arcade, I'm telling you. This thing will change your life, that's all I can tell you. I bet something, I bet something. All right, I'm just gonna play around with this. Let's go. I bet Here we go. Let's record it. vocal in there quantize it we're gonna name it I got the vocal in there now as I was playing this I said okay I got some horns I'm gonna play in the background right now I eliminated that I got some keys there I thought about adding just throwing a, a Tiffany in there 
So I'm going to go to another instrument I have called um, East West Instruments. I'm going to put a link in the description. I'm going to drag it in. And this thing has a subscription. I think it's I think it's $9.99, 10 dollars somewhere around there. It might be a little bit more than that. Uh, it might be nineteen ninety nine. One of them nine nines. <laughs> I can't remember exactly, but uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description. And let you uh, let you check it out. But it's got a whole bunch of instruments you can use for movie trailers, TV, beats, all kinds of stuff. Um, all kinds of instruments on here. So this is another place where I go for my sounds. Um, all I want to do is find a timpani. So let me see. Let me go to orchestra. See if I can find them. Got to kind of hunt for these drums. I see a snare. Uh, I got hits. Let me see. Double click and see. I'm just going to try that. I'm going to label this um, timpani or temp. And let's go. That's all I'm gonna do. Let's quantize it. I'm gonna duplicate it. And let's go. Listening to that, I kind of want to put a reverb on those horns to add an extra effect. Um, so I go to audio effects here. I'm going to add the horns. I'm put a decay time. Let's try it. I'm going to sold this out and see what it sounds like. Like how those horns coming in, so I'm gonna delete this. Go to the first one here, and let's look down here in this clip view. What's going on? Let's add a little legato in there, and let's see what that sounds like. It tends to drag it out a little bit. Okay, I don't like how that happened. So, guess what? I'm going to undo it. I might have to replay it again. All right, let's delete this. It's already soloed. I'm going to add a, uh, I'm going to arm the um, track here. And I'm just going to play it again. Let's see. Oh, I could. I could. Yeah, it's a little different. Let's try it. Again, you're just laying ideas down, y'all. Those how I lift my, lift my hands up. <laughs> Thinking that might do a different effect on it or whatever, but anyway. I like to have fun just making something up. Let's quantize it. Let's see if I can get this timing straight. Now, 
one of these little short is it? So right here, these set of MIDI notes, a little short to me, so I can highlight them, and then from here, I can kind of drag them out a little bit. Now let's see what it sounds like. Okay, I'm gonna roll with that. Let's duplicate it. And we're gonna play it again with everything. Let's see.